guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, you are going to be getting ready with me. So I want to play with a full face of Gucci Beauty, mostly everything from the Gucci Beauty line that I have. Some newer items, some older items, and then the items that I don't have, I'm going to use some Chantecaille products and a few other of some luxury favorites. So it's a full luxury get ready with me using mostly Gucci, okay? <laughs> Let's um get into it. I always get asked where I get my headbands from. From. This one is from Forever 21 a long time ago, but they still have a lot of great headbands if you are interested in picking up some headbands. So the first item that I'm going to use to prep my skin is from Chantecaille. This is the Pure Rose Water. So I got a package from Chantecaille and then I got to do a wonderful like online class with them and they talked a lot about their products. And this one was a product that I didn't think was going to interest me. And then after hearing about all of the ingredients where the roses are sourced from, all of that good stuff, I got really into it. So it was an event hosted with Look Fantastic. I do believe they give me a code for Chantecaille. So I'll put it here in the description box and right here on the screen, of course, as well. So if you are interested in picking up Chantecai, I believe it saves you 10 or 15 percent. But anyways, we're going to start off with this pure rose water. Very fancy. Mmm. Smells really good. It has a pretty heavy, like not even a mist, like it really gets the rose water on your skin. So I think it's really going to start well for hydration. So moving into skin prep, I'm now going to use the Gucci Silk Priming Serum. I really enjoy this face primer. I think it's really nice. I've had it for a while now, so I've tested it out a lot. And if you have dry skin, I think you will really enjoy it. Now, it's not the most hydrating primer I've ever used if you have severely dry skin. But generally speaking, I think normal to dry skin is really going to enjoy this. It just quenches your skin and it leaves a pretty smooth base as well. I don't necessarily know that it's a thousand percent worth every penny, but it's definitely a luxury primer that I've been in enjoying a lot for the last few months ever since I got it. I like it better than the foundation. So this is one thing from the complexion line from Gucci that I do really enjoy. Okay, so moving on to foundation, I'm going to use the Gucci, of course, foundation. I have mine in the shade 160N. It is way too light for me, so I'm going to mix it with my ABH foundation in 240N, just because this is a lot darker, so it's going to help. Also, I'm not the biggest fan of the Gucci foundation, if I'm being honest. I just don't think it wears very well. It's a little bit thick for my preferences. And I think mixing it with the ABH is a really nice mix just because this is pretty much the complete opposite of the Gucci. Not only is it darker just to offset my lack of ability to choose the correct color for myself, but the ABH is liquidy. It's dewy. It just kind of counteracts everything that I don't like about the Gucci. I definitely applied too much, but we'll, we'll make it work. Now, I like to apply my foundation with my fingers first, just to spread the product out and not to waste any product. And then I'll use my sponge to buff it in. I've been applying my foundation like this for years. This is just what works the best for me. I hate getting my fingers wet and gross. I do, but it just makes the foundation look the best and have the most even spread. So in terms of Gucci's beauty line, I really don't recommend the foundation. I don't think it's worth it. It's very, very pricey. I've heard a few people who like it, but just I feel like there's so many other luxury foundations that I prefer over the Gucci. So not where I would direct you in terms of the Gucci line. But you can see overall, both of these products did give a nice amount of coverage. I know I look scary. We'll move on to concealer in a second, but I do want to move on to eyebrows. This is one of the newer-ish releases from Gucci. It is their powder eyebrow pencil. Now, I don't know if I made the mistake or the store that I bought this from made the mistake, but I got the shade Auburn. I do not have Auburn hair, so this pencil is clearly too warm for me. And I just, I had it in my collection for a few weeks before realizing that I did not have the correct shade. So we're just gonna go for it. I've used it a couple of times despite it not being the perfect color like you can see it's a little bit warm but once the full face of makeup is done it's really something that's hard to notice anyway so it's fine I 
really like this eyebrow pencil, you guys. I like it because it is kind of like a powdery pencil. Like it's described as a powder eyebrow pencil and I agree with that 100%. And I typically prefer using powders in my eyebrows. And this is like the perfect hybrid. It kind of blends out like a powder, but it applies like a pencil. It's super nice, super natural. I honestly am considering for the Sephora VIB event to pick up this in the correct shade because it's so good. This is one of the items that I definitely would recommend from the Gucci Beauty line that's worth it because I know it's pricey and it hurts to pay a lot for eyebrow stuff because you really can get good eyebrow stuff from the drugstore. But I do really enjoy this pencil. It just blends out so easy. It's kind of foolproof. It's just user-friendly. So I'm gonna finish doing my brows and then I'll be back. So Gucci that I'm aware of does not have an eyebrow gel. So I'm gonna use the new Charlotte Tilbury Brow Fix. This is her new clear eyebrow gel. So far, so good. I've only used it twice, but it definitely maintained my brows yesterday because I wore this all day yesterday and it kept the shape. It doesn't feel too cracky and stiff on the eyebrows for being a clear eyebrow gel. So I've been enjoying it if you're on the market for a new eyebrow gel. Now we're gonna move on to concealer. So I don't have a new concealer or a new luxury concealer. So I'm just gonna stick with the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape concealer. So it's like the shape tape, but the creamy version. I'm in the middle of testing this out. So I don't know if I love it. I've only used it once before. So since I'm testing it, I'm just going to use it for today. By the way, I'm using the shade light neutral, which I think is a nice balance of brightening, but still not too bright on my skin tone. Normally I will say with concealers, I prefer to go a bit deeper than this, like a half a shade deeper. But so far, the formula, I think I like it. It's definitely not as much coverage as Shape Tape, but I'm okay with foregoing coverage if we can make it not as drying as the original Shape Tape. Which obviously, the original Shape Tape still has a huge cult following. I know a lot of you guys love it, but for me, it just, it didn't work out that great for me. I just felt like it emphasized texture underneath my eyelids. Or not my eyelids, underneath my eyes and it wasn't cute and very few concealers do that but Tarte was one of them that did that so the next product that I'm going to use is the beauty powder I have mine in the shade at three so this came out a while ago and then they sold out and it didn't come back for a few months so it did just recently restock and I picked it up I've been testing this foundation or powder thoroughly as powder foundation but I haven't yet tried it as a setting powder so today's day but I do really like this so far. I think it's nice. I prefer the other powder that came out that I've been trying is the Fenty powder and I think I prefer the Fenty in case you were wondering but this one I think is better as a setting powder because it does have some lighter coverage and it also offers a very very subtle sheen to the skin that the Fenty doesn't offer. I think this one is a bit more versatile. The Fenty one is obviously it's like a powder foundation. This one has a bit more versatility where you can use it as a very light weight natural powder foundation or you can also use it as I'm using as a setting powder and I think it looks really nice as a setting powder. Yeah, just slightly set. It added a touch more coverage to the cheeks but nothing crazy. It doesn't look too heavy on the skin. So this is my first time testing it as a setting powder and I really like it. So this is nice, nice. I can't wait to see how it wears. Next up for bronzer, I'm going to use one of the first Gucci items I actually ever purchased and this is their bronzing powder. I have mine in the shade number one. Their shade range is just all over the place. I think shade number one, it's a bit too pink for what I typically prefer, but as far as depth, it's my favorite depth. I found recently that I've preferred lighter bronzers because I have a lot of bronzers that I feel like have some depth to them, which is fine. It looks okay, but there's something to be said about being able to go heavy-handed with your bronzer and it's still looking okay and not looking dirty. So I really love the formula of the Gucci bronzers in general. So as long as you can get the right color, you will really enjoy the formula if it's something that you've been eyeing. And it's all about the luxury experience because this packaging is just amazing. It has a very natural sheen to it, 
pretty much imperceptible, but you can see it if you're looking in a magnified mirror like I am in front of a window. You can see it, and it's, it ends up being a really a beautiful bronzer that I very much love. So this has been one of my favorite bronzers of 2020, and I haven't used it that much this year because a lot of bronzers has, have come out, but this is a really good luxury one. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some in my crease as well. So I'm gonna do like a one and done shadow look with one other shadow all over my lid. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit in the crease to add some definition there. And you can see she carries some pigment regardless of it being the lightest shade. So just be careful of that on your face. As far as blush and highlight, I don't have anything from Gucci. So I'm gonna try this Chantecaille cheek shade in this shade. Joy, it's a horse. So this still has the overspray on it. So any other time that I'm gonna use this blush after today, it's not gonna have a sheen, but today it is. So this again was gifted from that Look Fantastic event. And you guys know I love these blushes. They're my favorite, one of my favorite, I guess, luxury blush formulas. And so I'm so excited that they gifted me another one because I haven't bought them because they're really expensive but i'm so happy to add another one to my collection because i use the two that i have all the time so this one's a really pretty pink shade it has more pigment than the other ones that i have which i really like it's definitely much more vibrant which is super pretty so this is again the chantecaille cheek shade in the shade joy for highlight i wanted to stay with something very luxurious. So I figured I'd pull out the Chanel Pearls de Luminier highlighter that I purchased a couple months back. It's absolutely stunning. Now it's not necessarily advertised as a highlighter. It's just supposed to be a blush. It's called an illuminating blush. I mean, you have to be pretty fair to pull this off as a blush. So it works good as a highlighter on me. It's absolutely stunning and the embossment is just reason enough <laughs> to purchase it if you've been wanting it. Obviously it's a very overpriced <laughs> highlighter but worth every penny for me. Really stunning and it's very subtle but I really have been enjoying the subtle highlight look over the last year and this is perfect for that. Let's move back into the eyes. I got a new shade from Chantecaille. This is the shade Zebra. It's this gorgeous rose gold shade that I thought would look really beautiful with the cheek. And these are very expensive single eyeshadows. I have a couple and I love them. And it's just the kind of thing where you just wanna buy like one or two because of how expensive they are. So again, very thankful that I can add another one to the collection because I love these shades. So I'm using a loosely packed brush, as you can see, just to give a golden glaze all over the eyelid. If you use your brush wet, or if you use your finger, you'd get much more intensity with the shade, but there's something that should not be forgotten about a nice light wash of shadow. I think a lot of times, and myself included, we forget the simplicity in makeup and how beautiful just a wash can look. Cause I love eyeshadows. I love packing them on. I love getting full impact. Sometimes a wash is all you need to get that impact. Moving back into Gucci, we have a newer product. This is the Stylo, no, <laughs> what is this? This is the Long Lasting Coal Liner. I got it in the shade black. There's a blue shade that I'm eyeing that one of you guys recommended to me, so I think I wanna get it. So I did try this on in my Sephora try on video, so I do have experience with this pencil. It is a like an automatic pencil. It's not wooden or anything, so you don't sharpen it, but it does have sharpener at the back if you do need to sharpen it. And hold on, I'm gonna just line my upper lash line. I don't want anything on the lower lash line. And it's not the creamy pencil I have. I think I do prefer other pencils, but it does last on the eyelid. I didn't notice anything too special about it when I wore it that first time, but it does have really nice lasting power. So it's not the easiest and smoothest to apply, but it definitely does last. So if you are somebody who struggles with black pencils lasting, this is a really nice one. But if you're somebody who prefers something a little bit more malleable and easier to blend and smudge out, then this one isn't for you. But as you can see, it does give a nice black line that does stay well. So the quality of the pencil is really nice. I don't necessarily know that it's worth the Gucci price, but it's a good eyeliner. Now I'm gonna go off camera in a few moments and apply mascara and some lashes, but I did wanna share my favorite current luxury mascara, the Armani Eyes to Kill. It's amazing. So I'm gonna pop this on, pop on some falsies, and we'll be back with the lips. Lashes, 
they just, they make everything better. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the lips now. So this is a newer product from Gucci. We have their new lip liners. So I picked up two shades. You can see we have a more orange one, which is the shade Meow. And then we have Nude, which is just a nude shade. So I did a little swatchy swatch of the orange down here. It doesn't go with my look, unfortunately. I wanted to create a look that went well with this, but it just doesn't. So we're gonna have to go with Nude and let me blend this in. Just looking at the makeup that I already had on and the lip colors that I already have from Gucci, we have to go with Nude. That being said, Nude it is just like a great versatile color. Now the formula of the Gucci lip liners are nice. They aren't like my Pat McGrath. My Pat McGrath are the end all be all for me. These have a little bit of a waxier consistency. They remind me of MAC lip liners if you're familiar. Maybe a little bit creamier than MAC lip liners but it applies with ease and because of the waxiness it really is a precise pencil. It's very very nice. I enjoy it a lot. So if I'm feeling something a little bit more dry, I like the Gucci. It lasts a long time. Again, it doesn't last as long as my beloved Pat McGrath, but it's up there in the lip pencils that I've tried. Like I really do enjoy the formula, but this nude shade, really beautiful and I mean, I don't have a lip liner like this orange one, so I would say if you see a color that you really enjoy that you don't have, then I would definitely recommend the Gucci pencil. Like Nude is the perfect nude shade, so color-wise, it's definitely worth looking into the Gucci line for lip liners, but don't, you know, buy every single color. Only buy the colors that you're go going to use. Finally, lipsticks. I had to go to my mom's collection because this is the only one that I currently have in my collection, which is Linda Beige. So I dug in my mom's collection. So she had two colors that I thought would work well. They're kind of the same shade, honestly. One is just shiny and one is matte. So Let's just go with the matte since we have a shimmery eye. So this is Penny Beige. I'll show you right here. It's more of like a satin matte. Very, very brown. Perfectly matches my shirt, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me wipe off my hand. I mean, all right, you guys, there we have it. It was a very simple look that we did today, but I did just want to play with the newer Gucci products that I had. And just in case you were generally curious about the Gucci line, those are all of my thoughts. My favorite go-to products from the Gucci line, one has to be the eyebrow pencil. The eyebrow pencil is probably my second favorite item I've tried from the line because the best items are the lipsticks, starting from the packaging and then the product itself is really nice. So Gucci lipsticks all the way. Love the eyebrow pencils, love the face primer, love the bronzer. Those are my favorite products. But then when we get to the lip liner and the eyeliner, those are also really nice. Don't necessarily know if they the price is justified, but the, the quality is really, really nice. It's just kind of expensive, you know? But I really like everything that Gucci has in their line, generally speaking, minus the foundation. The foundation's not my favorite, but overall, I do love the Gucci line. So thank you guys so much for getting ready with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your favorite products from Gucci down below. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.